money has no beliefs about you, but you have beliefs about money. And it's really your beliefs that prevent you from seeing it or attracting it. And believe me, I know the resistance to hearing that because when I heard it, when I was homeless and in poverty, I resisted hearing it. When I finally took it in and started to explore my beliefs about money and started to dismantle them, erase them and replace them, then money started to come. The sole purpose of money is to express appreciation. That's a quote from Arnold Patton. And when I first heard it, I thought, oh, come on, there has to be an exception to that. But then I thought when I pay the phone bill, I'm grateful to have a phone. When I pay the grocery store bill, I'm grateful to have food. When I pay the mortgage, I'm grateful to have a roof over my head. And suddenly I started to look at money with sincere thankfulness. So you have to change your attitude about money. I've often said money has no beliefs about you, but you have beliefs about money. And it's those beliefs that could prevent it from coming to you or you even seeing the possibilities of having more. There's no real acceptable excuse. They're actually limiting beliefs. They're actually excuses uh, that are forms of self-sabotage. And then if we look them in the face, we can go, you know, a lot of people have built empires out of next to nothing. So make peace with money. Having an awareness of money, being money-minded, it's not a bad thing at all. It's a good thing. It's a spiritual thing. And it can help you survive, prosper, thrive, and fulfill your life mission. Money is good. Expect miracles.